Joining us now is Marcus Bueller. He is the MRS Bulletin Impact Editor. Marcus, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Now, the Impact section is an exciting new addition to the MRS Bulletin content. Tell us about what Bulletin readers will see in the new Impact section. Right, MRS Bulletin is the flagship journal for the MRS Society. Mm -hmm. And historically, we've published in the MRS Bulletin mainly review articles and news uh, articles, basically. In the future, we're going to be finding also original research articles, and that's what the new section will contain. Now, how long have you been editor? Uh, we're just starting the process. Uh, I've been appointed a few weeks ago, and we're in the process of setting, putting up, uh, putting together an editorial board. And oh, so this is a work in progress. A work in progress, very much, yes. Very good. Now, the bulletin has traditionally featured more of a review approach with themed articles along with news and also features. How does the new impact section complement the existing bulletin content? Right, the new section will have original research articles, we'll have full-length articles, we'll have letter-type articles, we'll have perspectives, and also some reviews maybe tied to the, some of the themes we're covering in the, in the new section. And speaking to those themes, what types of content will you be seeking? Right, we'll be seeking um, um, really any, any area in materials research. We're going to be focusing on high-impact work. Mm -hmm. um, so the articles and letters and we'll be publishing are going to be all high-impact. Um, and uh, some of the example areas that we're going to be covering are frontiers in materials modeling, mm -hmm. uh, biomateriomics, so we're looking at um, interfaces between materials and biology. Uh, we're looking at impact, global impact, um, in environment and energy, sustainability areas. We're looking at um, work in the area of computing, new materials for computing applications, materials that compute themselves. We're thinking about quantum computing, for instance. Uh, nano Frontier will be thinking about how we can scale up nanotechnology to um, functional properties, macroscopic properties, and also manufacturing. Uh, how do we make materials? How, we, how do we create materials that can actually uh, assemble themselves? How can they interact with the environment and other issues like that? So you're looking for a lot, and that means a lot of content. Where, where are you going to find this content? So mainly the audience is going to be, um, really it's a global audience of right. submissions we're seeking. Um, we think that the, the source for a lot of the content will come from the Materials Research Society members. The MRS meetings, we hope that many authors will decide to submit to MRS Bulletin Impact uh, once they attend the meeting and submit the highest quality work to us. Now you touched on this earlier, but as you ramp up, an important step along the way is to fill the editorial and advisory boards. Where do things stand at, at this point? Yeah, it's very much work in progress. Right. Um, I can't yet give an update on, on who we have confirmed, but we have confirmed already a, a very strong team, and we're still waiting for a couple more um, uh, you know, people to confirm. Um, but it will be um, a diverse board um, that covers all areas of materials research, um, and the editors and advisory board members will help uh, to um, make this a great success for the society. I should also mention, Marcus, that you are very involved with MRS. In addition to your new position of editor of the impact section of MRS Bulletin, you'll also be an MRS meeting chair in the near future. Congratulations on that. Tell me about why you've chosen to engage so deeply in the society as an MRS volunteer. Do you have a lot of free time? Yeah, well, <laughs> not anymore. Not, not, not really, but um, well, I've been a member of MRS since, my, since I was a graduate student. Yeah. Uh, I've been attending meetings since then, which is almost, almost 20 years ago now. And it's nice for me to give back to that community in, in helping out, uh, in, a, in addition to the publishing, also in organizing the meeting and helping, sure. helping making these meetings a success into the future. Now, what would you say to someone who maybe is just starting out and thinking about volunteering and you know, going for roles within MRS? What advice would you give them? Well, I think it's a great way. MRS is a very open society, right. and uh, we really invite um, pretty much anyone from any um, place, any research area to join us and, and contribute. And I think there's an avenue for uh, it, uh, to contribute in many different ways, you know, from writing articles for MRS Bulletin as a student <laughs> that I did, right. you know, actually submitting articles, of course, sure. to some of the MRS journals, um, also being involved as a graduate assistant in the meetings, in the symposia, um, organizing meetings, giving talks, recruiting authors, um, that's really something for everyone. And I think it's a very rewarding opportunity, especially for uh, graduate students and postdocs and young faculty to, who are starting off to network. I mean, you can really create a very strong network through the MRS meetings and being more actively involved in Absolutely. meetings, not just attending the meetings, but actually shaping the meetings and shaping the, the editorial output and the publications that way. Marcus Bueller, thanks for your time. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much.